What's going on guys, we're on the crew 2 today, and well, I want to do a video covering all the vehicle classes in this game, so today I'm going to be doing the street class real fast here, so obviously this depends on what you guys are doing again, like I said in the other builds for the other classes in the game, so obviously the street class you're going to want to use the Nitro Chemist set, I know a lot of people are wondering if these are the most effective for depending on what you're doing, and well, if you are doing summits, you're going to most likely want the Nitro Chemist set for basically most of the classes, I will cover the other classes in other videos though with certain builds you guys might want to have on those anyway so for the street class you guys are obviously going to want to aim for the nitro chemist set now this is the mazda rx8 gold edition here if you're wondering and i do have full nitro chemist with frenetic pure and extra pump now this seems to be the best build i use when i'm doing any type of street event in anything if you're doing it just for money i'll get into that in a little while but if you're aiming just for the specific speed for pretty much all the vehicles you guys are going to really just want to use a nitro chemist there's really nothing else you need when you're doing these races especially if you're in the summit going after some of these cars you're going to need as much speed as you can possibly get just to show you how important nitro chemist is now i'm just going to be in first gear here to show you how long nitro chemist actually lasts and a lot of people are probably already know this but this if you guys are here on competitive trying to do these events in the summit you're going to really want to use nitro chemist i mean just check this out nitrous lasts a really long time as you'll see down in the corner there, it is in honestly kind of insane how important this actually is to be using this on events. Now, obviously, if you're going for money and followers stuff like that, you could use other sets, which definitely can help you a lot. It really depends on what you're doing. Like I said in the other videos, like you're using a hypercar and you're doing just regular races and they're not any, like super like summit sweaty events for a car. There's really no point of actually using a chemist set unless you're trying to race your friends or something like that and just be faster. If you're doing a regular race, you're really just going to go after the money and followers there to get as much money as you can and level up so you can get, well, more parts and and ultimately more money and time as well. really depends, but you can just see how important Nitro Chemist actually is. It helps cars get to the real top speed. Without it, you're not going to be able to hit top speed on a lot of the cars. You'll be able to do, like, the normal speed with them, but Nitro Chemist will push them over the top so you get more speed. Come out of corners faster in the events. You can pretty much go in a lot of straight lines faster than other people. You can accelerate really high, as you guys will see here, how fast you can accelerate. You can hit top speed on a car very easily with Nitro Chemist. And you luckily can refill pretty quick depending on what your build is. You have extra pump on there, might help a little bit if you're looking for more refill nitrous speed there. It really depends what you're doing, like I said, and this could be very helpful, especially in these events. When I do any type of races and I'm actually trying to just make money and followers, I will normally just put a fame magnet set on my car just like this. Now obviously this one doesn't have bucks, it has pure. This was actually a summit reward set so this one does have pure in it but if you check it you actually can go change the pure if you want to but i'm going to leave it on there for now leave popular on there obviously because you get an extra two percent on the gains there so it's very important you can change the pure two bucks if you'd like for me i'm just going to leave it on pure and that's pretty much the best build you can have when you're trying to make money guys i know a lot of people might use the loot digger which also is a really good thing to be using if you're going after parts Gold Finder and Lucky will help you get a lot more parts so you can actually get a lot more materials to level up other classes with parts and stuff like that. So that is pretty important. If you guys want to use Loot Digger on races, you can. Fame Magnet will pretty much get you money and followers. Loot Digger will get you double loot, obviously. And you could get better loot, which you can sell to get you more materials, which could then give you better upgrades and stuff for the said affixed stats on the builds. Alright guys, obviously I am doing a quick race here, a little commentary, so when it comes to the parts, obviously for this race I'm using the Fame Magnet, you can also use the Loot Digger set there as well, those are really good to be using as well. Personally, I would never use the Nitro Chemist on these races, really there's no reason to, especially if you're just racing by yourself, you're really not here to get the most speed, you're more here to get parts or money and followers and all that to level up and get better stuff, so there's really no point of using the Nitro Chemist set, I actually never really use them on races unless it's in the Summit. I don't really see the point of using them, like, for example, the Fame Magnet here gives you a lot more followers, which, obviously, the Sleeper is probably the most farmed street race in the game. Good reason, because it's very simple, and it's only about, like, 2 minutes and 40 seconds, and you can make good money with it, especially if you have all your points and all that on bucks and followers, really depending on what you're doing. But that pretty much is the best race to farm, and a lot of people have been farming this race for a really long time on here, especially since the beginning of this game. So this is probably your best bet if you're looking to farm money with the street vehicles. Personally, I normally do the hypercars when I farm money, just I feel like that's the easiest way to do it. But that's just me. I know those races take a very long time. Luckily, the street races don't take as long, and you can make good money from these as well, quickly at the same time. It really depends, again, what you're going for. 
So when it depends on the build that you guys are going for, what would you want to be running? So when it comes to the Loot Digger set, I would have to say Loot Digger set is also very, very valuable in this game. Um, when I was actually going for a lot of my builds that I would originally get, whether Nitro Chemist, Fame Magnet, uh, the Live Reward Sniffer thing, whatever it's called, whenever I'd go for those, I actually would go for Loot Digger first on my classes because it would give you a better chance of getting more parts that you actually need. And instead of getting four or five parts, you'll get like seven or eight, and you'll have a way better chance of getting actual gold parts that you might need. Especially if you're missing that one little engine part that you can't seem to get, which will make you really mad. And then you finally get it, and you're like, let's go. And the loot digger set could definitely help you out with that, and I feel like that is very important. Because if you're going for these parts, guys, it's going to take a long time to grind for them. Unless you go for the sets in the actual summits. Now, if you don't have the parts to go after the set... In the summit, that can make it very hard because a lot of the people who are doing the summits probably have really good parts in their cars, and their cars are probably built for the events, and they're just there to obliterate everybody and pretty much get the parts. I don't blame them because the parts sets are really good in the summit normally, so it'd be very smart to do that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and let me know what build you guys are really trying to go for with the parts. Is I would say Loot Digger is extremely valuable when you're trying to go for other set builds in this game. Thank you so much for watching.